speech, 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 speech. speech. Alright. Okay. This is Element Craft. We're going to build bases. Ooh, and get better material. This is Element Craft Season 1, Episode 1. I decided to start by getting all of the regular survival stuff like wood, trapping a baby villager, getting a pickaxe, and we actually started this series a while ago, but just decided to pick it up again in Minecraft 1.18. I found this nice little cave, and I thought it was really nice, so I decided to settle in, place my bed, put some chests in there, and... <laughs> So then I decided to uh, continue setting up my house by adding a door. This made it an official house. And apparently it worked because I got a uh, visitor right away. Hey, I see. I see you at awesome. You're like right above me. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, we're Hi. Hi. <laughs> what you got in there? Help a I'm poor brother out. Where, where, where's the <laughs> door? Knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, you said something that made me mad. I'm breaking out of here. I'm so mad. I'm not proud of it, but this sort of humor went on for... It went on for a while. FBI, open up! <laughs> Next, I made some copper blocks and started placing them down very incorrectly in hopes that they would oxidize before I wanted to start making my first base. A little bit after that, I found this super cool cave. It like went all the way down into deep slate, and it was this dripstone cave. And that was lucky for me because I was planning on using dripstone as one of the main building blocks in my base. Back at spawn, I found these two villagers who were trapped and for some reason were not moving, so... I decided to let them out and save them. Shortly after, I checked on the villager that I imprisoned at the beginning. It's good to see he's doing okay. And then something happened that made me feel very, very stupid. You guys spread them apart, remember? Yep, I did by three blocks. I think it's five. You have to spread them apart to get them best. Uh, but I'm gonna go the other direction. One, There's probably two, gonna be three, like four, five. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Well, I won't be making that mistake ever again. After that, I went on a small mining expedition and got lost. But I found lots of diamonds, so it was kind of worth it. Then Ethan started screaming. And, and you know I'm going to amplify this volume to 400% just for your viewing experience. <coughs> I'm very, very sorry. Once I got back to my cave, I realized that my uh, copper was very oxidized. And I saw this chest. What's inside? That's weird. Um, super amazing gift from Forehead Lava King. Whoa! Okay, that's 32 blocks of copper. That's awesome. I need to oxidize that real quick, and then we'll be on our way. So then I began grabbing more resources like dripstone and uh, jungle logs, and then I began building. Now all I needed is a way up to my base, so I made this nice little pathway that kind of wrapped around the mountain and went straight up to my doorway. Then I went to annoy Fire Lava King a little bit. Really? I've got like 15 stacks of snowballs. <laughs> okay. Once I ran out of snowballs, I went back to my base and continued to work on my path. I went to go check on my villager friend again, and he's looking very good. I then decided to start working on the roof for the structure that I'm building, 
and then I tore it all down because it was terrible. Then Fire Lava King came, asked how I was doing, and then left. Hi, I can see you. Where are you? Look up. Do you want me Am I allowed to look at it? I suppose. I guess I won't. Could you? Could, I just want to talk to you for a second. How have you been? Good. After that interaction, I decided to continue working on my roof, and I finally found a design that I kind of liked. I was kind of interested to see how Fire Lava King's base was coming along, so I decided to go and check that out. Hey. Oh, so you're making, like, hey. a cliffside base? Yeah. You should I make a... kind of experimenting. You should make a path going up to this. This is impossible to... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do that later, but, like, right now, I'm just gonna... Um, wow, this is really dark in here, dude. Oh, I have Fulbright on, so... I can light, light that up later. Saw we. Why? Bop. No, <laughs> stop. I'm gonna die. Okay, bye. Bye. I decided to finish up my roof. I kind of fiddled around with the side bits a little bit, but I ended up settling on this design, which I really like. I think it's really cool. And so this is the final product. Please let me know if you like this. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and watch out for other Element Craft videos on this channel. Make sure to check out Ad Awesome and Fire Lava King's channels too, because they'll be also be uploading Element Craft videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.